Hi Leo, so I'm here to do the generals for August. Uh, they're not a time stamp though, so if you do stumble across these after August, it could be for you then. Um, I do have a PayPal donation link to donate towards the upkeep of this channel, as I do have to take time off work uh, to, to do this channel for yourselves. And I am available for one-on-one -on -one readings. All my readings and things like that are in the description box below in my website link. So I'm going to jump straight in uh, for the energies. Oh, nice. For a fire, my 1111 11 card. Nice. Contentment, peace and abundance. Happy home life. The successful completion of a project. So, Leo, round of applause. I don't know what it's for, but I feel like I need to give you a round of applause. <laughs> Love it. So, any challenges or blockages or anything that needs that Leo needs to look to what the six of earth so balance keeping this balance going gifts of money time and effort new career opportunities receiving loans paying off debts the six of earth is the equal give and take card though as well so i'm loving this there could actually be commitment coming in here or you could already be commitment it's to keep the equal give and take going um so why is this coming around now the page of water a new person has entered your life or soon will be um a new per i feel like i'm doing a love reading here a new person enters your life a relationship begins a new phase heart and psychic abilities so they could definitely a relationship could definitely be beginning a new phase there could be commitment coming in so again i will say congratulations before it comes in <laughs> i feel like i'm congratulating you for something so in the recent past the free of water celebrations Need to have more fun, dates, things like that. Oh, this is getting exciting. Uh, weddings, graduations, birth announcements. So some of my Leos could actually be getting ready for weddings. Uh, could be new births coming in. Could be birthing your own dreams, you know, with this gifts of money, time and effort. Um, the 11-11, making your own wishes come true with the 11-11. We all know, see so 11-11, we start making wishes. So things are seeming quite balanced at the minute. New things coming in, new people coming in, heart and psychic abilities. So I feel like you are power manifesting. So at present, we've got justice. And I feel like karmic justice is, is paying off. I feel like it's like, we have got the sign of Libra there, so you can deal with Libra. But I feel like it, it's almost like there's some kind of karmic reward coming in for you at this, minute, at this moment. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs. It's the justice card, though. It's the end of a karmic cycle. You know, we are in your season. We are in Leo. We're going into the eighth month, which will be August, which is what these readings uh, are about. So I feel like things are finally balanced, and it, and it's like maybe you're not used to that. Near future. Balance. <laughs> The need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. So you could be waiting on perfect timing for something, sorting out dates, uh, like certain like numerology dates, like looking forward. Um, the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Maybe you feel like something's going a bit too fast, so you want to like kind of slow it down a little bit. And that's only because you're not used to it. You're not used to being that type of uh, relationship or head frame. So it's all happening at once. Which can be quite scary, but I, won't, I don't see anything to be scared of. It looks really good. Your power is the magician, magician, see? Power manifester. You are the manifester of your own dreams at this minute in time. So I feel like, again, I feel like karma is playing out on your side. There's some kind of karmic reward coming in or has come in. And I feel like you're kind of like, where has this come from? You've manifested it. So the magician, you are ready, you have the resources and the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. And I feel like you're starting to see the magic in your life. Aries had a really nice reading as well. I haven't done Sagittarius yet, but the fire signs seem to be getting really nice readings. The outside influence, the lovers, so you could have a Gemini around you. Um, or it could be within love. This could be about love. Um, health as well. Feeling more revitalised, you know, getting that mojo back in Aries had about a lot of that. So you could have Aries in your chart, or you could be dealing with another fire sign. Intimate relationships, carefully weighing your decisions and good health. So it's almost like everything seems really balanced at the, the minute, or it will be, and you're not used to it being like that. So then it can get a bit scary. But you're manifesting. It's good. Oh. 
spirits hope for you the sun happy outcomes brilliant new ideas that lead to success have confidence in yourself it's time to be happy it's time for you to be you're allowed to be happy i feel like i need to keep saying that and i'm sure i said that last month i'm not sure but leo stop doubting yourself you're allowed to be happy your outcome is you but then we have this to of air a decision so your outcome is 11 strength which is the leo card great inner strength for these harsh judgments forgiveness and compassion and then we've got the two of air being unable or unwilling to make a decision a stalemate so the two of air is it's just i feel it's more that, that things start to go good and you're starting to think like there's got to be a red flag here somewhere but i'm not seeing it you know <laughs> I feel like you're questioning yourself. So this could be love, it could be relationships uh, within family, things like that. It could be relationships with people at work, not kind of feeling that. But we'll see where we go. So the 11 11 card, you're definitely manifesting your thoughts or your creations. So they've got the Knight of Pentacles. So you have been thinking through things logically. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving of the card. Things could be going a bit too fast for your liking. Maybe you're wanting them to slow down a little bit so you can think a bit more logically about things. But I've been picking up that energy throughout the cards. So this six of uh, the five of cups in reverse. So you will have no regrets. So the five of cups, it could be past relationships. Maybe you got love bombed. Um, maybe people that sold you a dream, delivered you a nightmare, that type of thing. But all that time, the two of cups was behind you, a soulmate, a divine union that was behind you. So I feel like you're actually finding that. But because it's all happening so well and it's going so good, I feel like you're questioning it. Or worrying about it disappearing. So the page of water, this new person entering your life. We've got the moon, we've got the sign of Pisces. But the moon is about releasing any fears that hold you back with full moons we release and with new moons we bring in we've actually got the new moon on the lion's gate on the 8th of the 8th this month so manifestation if you are manifesting get your manifestation tools out there you know it's time to make your dreams happen so we need to release any fears that hold you back especially in regards to new relationships so the free of water in the recent past We've got the King of Pentacles in reverse. So in the past, there's like an unstable energy. It could be lack of finances or a lack of finding uh, people around you who are willing to give give you this stability and security and things like that. The Free of Water is a celebration of the fact that you've recognised that cycle, I feel. Yeah, because now we've got the King of Cups. So we've got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We've got Passes, Cancer, Scorpio. But the King of Cups, now you're going on towards someone who's emotionally invested, who's emotionally stable, who wants to put in equal give and take. If it's not in yet, that is what you're manifesting. You're manifesting this person because you've learned from the past. So the Justice card to me, sign of Libra, um, is telling me that there's some kind of reward coming in, some kind of karma that's played out. So the Justice card for Leo. Here's the seven of wands in reverse. So you don't have to work too hard for this. You know, you don't have to defend your decisions. You know, things seem to be, you're winning at something. If there's some legal type of situation going on, I would not be worried about it because with the justice card and the seven of wands in reverse, you're not having to justify yourself. It, it's all working out in your favor. Um, but if this is in regards to love and relationships, Maybe you've had to defend yourself in the past. Maybe you've had someone who was very unstable and made you feel uh, unstable yourself, put you put you down and things like that. And that's what you're not... It, it's kind of hard to get used to being around people who function normally when you've come away from, like, narcissists and things like that. And maybe that that's what it is that's, like, kind of knocking you off balance. This is a bit strange because I've not been in this situation before. Is it the love bombing phase? Maybe you're questioning it. 
but we have got the Fool and the Three of Pentacles. So the Fool is a brand new fresh start, having a leap of faith, having a leap of faith in someone or yourself. And the Three of Pentacles, teamwork makes the dream work. So I feel that Leo, if this person isn't in yet, they're coming in very soon. And this person's coming in as part of a team. You know, they want to be a team player. They want to work with you. They want to equal give and take. And I don't feel like you've been used to that before. You know, so if someone's in right now, don't be too harsh on them because of past insecurities. So we've got balance in the near future and we've got the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of the Eight of Cups is really significant. Uh, but it's new adventures. You're going off to new adventures. You're leaving. You've been through these um, experiences, these emotional experiences. You chose to go through them, even though you might not feel like it. You did choose to go through them before we come to earth. We sign soul contracts of what we are going to choose to experience, and it's now time to experience the new a new adventure. Aries got a very similar reading, so I'm wondering if fire signs are, you know, like on this same kind of journey. So we've got the five of swords and the three of swords in reverse. So the five of swords, yet. Yeah, this person isn't one of those, we're not turn, talking about love bombing because it's in reverse. They don't want no control of you. Maybe that's where you're struggling with because you're not used to it. The three of swords, healing is a process. You are healing and maybe you're healing together. Maybe someone's coming in and you're both on your healing journey in different ways or different, you know. The magician, you are definitely manifesting the nine of cups. You're manifesting your own desires. What do you want? Power manifestation. Magician coming out to us, the Nine of Cups. So you're manifesting. What do you want? So the lovers has been the outside influence. We've got the Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment, the happy home life. It's almost like everything's going really well and it's scaring you to death. But it's past scenarios and situations. See, you don't, the Nine of Wands in reverse... So we've got the wounded warrior. There's no need to be in the wounded warrior phase anymore. The person on the outside, it looks like you've you could have had similar lives or been through similar healing journeys, and now it's time to work together. But it's scary. It's scary. So the sun card, judgment, make the right judgments, happy outcomes, brilliant uh, new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. A wake up call. On top of that, the Knight of Cups, making an offer or accepting an offer. To me, this is all looking like love, but we shall see. Three of Cups. Be happy. <laughs> be happy. <laughs> so your outcome is you and this two of air. So feeling a little bit cuffled. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um grounded stay grounded i feel like you're just on a wobble and i feel it could be because of these two aquarius full moons so we just had one on the 24th and we will have another one on the 22nd and it's a lot of aquarius energy it's a lot of air energy it makes you think things it makes you a lot of your thought concepts come back from your subconscious it brings things up it triggers things the good thing is the things that are triggered with the first full moon are usually fading out on the second full moon and i feel like that's what it is i feel like you're not used to being nurtured. You're not used to being cared for in that way. You're not used to someone giving the same as you you give. So it's to stay grounded at this time. Be patient with yourself. The Seven of Pentacles. Let things expand. Allow things to expand because you are going from storm waters to smooth waters. All them swords in that boat are her lessons that she's been through. She's taken them with her. She's been through them. She doesn't have to relive them again. I don't feel like you're going to relive them again because there's the one Jamojo's coming back. That fire within you is coming back. You're finding a new lease of life. Absolutely amazing reading. Absolutely love it. Teamwork makes the dream work. Love it. Okay, bye.